Was it the holidays? Uh, no, it wasn't that. Well, then why you decide to come in tonight? Um, I'm trying to fix my mind. When I read the script, I just had a really emotional response, and I just absolutely loved it. At the time I read it, I really didn't know what part I was going to play, and it really didn't matter because I just got so sucked into it that I just thought, whatever part I'm offered you know, and able to play, I just want to be in some way part of this movie because I think it's so beautiful. I think it's incredibly unique, and I think it has a really profound message as well. I'm having conversations. Death came first. She met me in the dog park. Charmed, I'm sure. So death is a her. Turns out death is an elderly white woman. For me, what the, the greatest message um, of this movie is that there's a gift in everything. So I think so often we focus on um, the happy feelings, things that make us feel joyous and good. Um, and actually, we forget that sorrow and heartache and loss are incredibly painful and don't necessarily feel good, but they, there is a gift there as well and they teach us something incredibly profound. And if we allow them to, it enables us to experience life in a much deeper way and to really grow and blossom from the experience. Something's starting to happen to you. Howard, I don't know what to do to bring you back. What if love, death, and time are trying to help you? You need to talk to them, Howard. Challenge them. Just engage. Working opposite Will Smith is, I don't know, it's so hard to describe because it's such a magical experience because he's, he's so many different things. You know, he's an incredible actor. Um, he's really, really spiritual. Um, and we have our, like, wisdom of the day moment where I say to him like, okay, well, what's the wisdom of the day today? So he's always giving me these wise um, teachings and lectures and advice as well. So there's that side of him. And then he's a kid as well, a complete kid. Like he is so hilarious and such a clown and will have you laughing all the time and loves to push boundaries and, um, and provoke you and a tormentor as well. I'd say he's my tormentor. He was my tormentor on set. He knows it. You know, he's not going to deny it. He was. He loved to provoke me. Just be sure to notice the collateral beauty. It's the profound connection to everything. He accepts that. Maybe he gets to find his life again. Will said it best. You know, he was, he just, one of the things that he always says is that everybody, every single person is going through something. Everybody has their own pain, has their own sorrow. And our job as actors is to give them relief from that or an opportunity to experience deeply, go further into that so they can learn um, as a result of watching our experience. And I think that is what we are aiming to do.